We're about to make these beautiful roasted red peppers stored in olive oil with fresh rosemary and thyme from my garden. Start by cutting away the centers of the peppers and cut away the pith, the white pith inside as well and tap out any seeds. Cut them into large chunks and pat dry if you need to and lay the peppers skin side up on your roasting tray. I'm the queen of buying in bulk on sale, like at a farmer's market, 30 pound box of tomatoes or cucumbers for canning when we were in Maine. I couldn't resist. Um, then it hangs over your head like you have to do it, <laughs> but it's still worth it. So going back to my home economics, um, these beautiful peppers that typically go for around $3.99 to $4.99 a pound were unusually on sale at 79 cents a pound and they looked phenomenal so I bought up a bunch I used some but now I have them and I don't want to waste them and I'm going out of town in a few days so um, this is a perfect uh, use of them they'll store beautifully in this olive oil with fresh herbs and be delicious for when I want them You're gonna roast them in a preheated oven at 450 for about 20 minutes or keep checking around 20 minutes to make sure they're softened and have a nice blackened char on them. That's what gives them the real flavor. And when they get like that, it'll be real easy to take the skins off afterwards. You're gonna place them in a bowl, use the tongs, they're quite hot. And then when you've got them all in the bowl, you're going to use either a tea towel or I have these cool little, um, I use them for my sourdough bread when it's proofing so that I can recycle it and I don't use single use plastic. Um, I have these, it kind of looks like a shower cap, nice washable fabric top topper and that will keep them steaming in that bowl for about, well, I'll do it to about 20 minutes till they cool down a bit. Once they're cooled, you're gonna gently um, remove the skin. It'll come off very easily. I don't mind a little skin that has the char on it left on, but that's just me. And gently pat dry just to absorb some of that extra water, liquid that's on there. And then just uh, a gentle sprinkle of sea salt all over them will give a nice flavor to them in the jar. met a recyclable glass jar that I didn't love and save. <laughs> so, anyway, I have a infinite amount of glass jars around and I hope you do too. Just uh, sterilize one, have a nice clean jar ready to put your uh, beautiful peppers, olive oil and herbs in. And then just rip them with your hands, like, like you're in Italy, like rustic Italy. We're outside just ripping the peppers with our hands. We don't need that knife. So rip them up into nice pieces that are gonna go into the jar. going to take whatever olive oil you like um, and put a little drizzle in the bottom of the jar and sort of swish it around to start layering the peppers in and as you put a, a good layer of pep peppers in put place the herbs prettily around the edge and so forth so it you know if you're giving it as a gift it makes a beautiful presentation and then um, between each sort of I don't know inch or two layer put a little more drizzle of olive oil and then again a nice drizzle on top
There's so many uses for these roasted red peppers with herbs, but I know what I love is crusty sourdough bread layered with the roasted red peppers, some fresh mozzarella or burrata, whatever you prefer, some arugula, some prosciutto, and you have the perfect sandwich.